Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell is live in White House now with a closer look at the flooding in that area. Nikel, we're finally seeing some peaks of sunshine come through, and that's a good thing. It shows signs of a new day and the opportunity to clean up. But residents like the one here at this home, the uh, Cunninghams here, they're dealing with a lot of water over their particular area. We're located here right near the White House Cross Plains dividing line, and they have a lot of water. They live on a lower part of a hill, and the water flowed here. And it's a typical rainstorm. Flooding is minor, but when you receive as much rain as we have picked up, a season's worth of rain in 72 hours, it can be detrimental. We also went to a few other areas hit hard by flooding, including the Empson Road, where Empson Branch and Dry Branch Creeks were well out of their banks. And in a low lying area, Bill Braddon's home and property were inundated with water. These two creeks converged onto his property, leading to big repairs and a big cleanup up ahead. I've got 16 inches of water in my basement which now it's drained out, but I got a big muddy mess around there. Uh, I had chickens in here. Uh, I lost several chickens. Uh, as you can see, it funneled basically all the water right through my barn. My fields have got all the gravel that used to be here. They're out there and in the field. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, that much water does a lot of damage. The power of water uh, is absolutely incredible. Uh, we talk about the dangers of driving through flooded roadways. You are encouraged to never do that. You just don't know how deep this water is. Uh, over the next couple of days, as we continue to dry out, we'll start to see more water recede. But in a home like this one here at the Cunningham residence, it may take a little bit longer because all the water has funneled down all the way to his driveway. So it's going to take some time. He is currently pumping the water out. We hope you stay safe as you recover and clean up here from the storms that came through the mid-state. Reporting in Cross Plains, I'm News 2 meteorologist Marcus Bagwell.